Peter King was arrested for allegedly selling large amounts of fentanyl out of the Econo Lodge Hotel on South Hosmer Street. U.S. Attorney Nick Brown says that the dangers that come with fentanyl can't be dismissed. Fentanyl in particular presents a very unique danger. We're seeing a massive increase in overdose deaths across our district, across this country, largely driven by people using fentanyl. The arrest is just the latest police activity targeting crime along South Hosmer Street. There have been five homicides there this year. We have received multiple reports of drug dealing, human trafficking, prostitution, and a number of other uh, related crimes. Location. Darlene Fengsavan works near the Econo Lodge and says just passing by can be stressful. I'll be walking on the other side of the street, head down, look away, because you don't want any contact. You don't want to make any eye contact with like anyone on that side because you don't know what's going to happen. Which is why Lieutenant Jeff Katz says it's important for Tacoma police to find long-term solutions. We go beyond just the arrest. Kat says personnel from the Community Policing Division joined with other resource providers yesterday to connect some of the hotel's tenants to stable housing. Kat says this kind of follow-up falls in line with a new crime plan unveiled by Chief Avery Moore and is critical in not only stopping crime but preventing it from happening again. So if we don't get to the root causes of why violent crimes occur in specific areas, we're really just coming in at the end, holding people accountable for things that they've done, which is great, but we also need to make sure that we uplift the community that has been impacted by this as well. Feng Savan says she appreciates the increased police presence and activity in the area and hopes it will continue. This neighborhood could be great because there's great people that are still here. The Sage Investment Group, which owns Econo Lodge, sent King Five a statement earlier today that reads in part that they are excited to see the increased police activity in the area. And they have plans to turn the hotel into affordable housing, but crime has hampered their efforts, but they will not be reselling the property. From Tacoma, Lionel Donovan, King Five News.